All right, guys. I couldn't find any uh, connectors, electrical connectors. So I'm gonna strip uh, these wires a little bit longer than they are, like so. And then I'm going to carefully wire them in to the solid wires that I hope that I ran on that. I guess it's a thermostat or or bell wire. And we're gonna do this and see if the light works. But I do have to. I'll wire this up first, and then I'll wire it up on the PWM controller, and we'll see. I gotta get rid of some garbage here. Hold on. TV's still on. Fan's still on. And I also found um, a couple 12 volt DC fans, which I think this is going to be a good idea to possibly use. Now, sorry for the darkness back here, guys, but um, I'm just going to wrap this wire around the solid like so with the excess and then tape it heavily or carefully I should say to get good coverage just for a temporary fit until I get some better equipment going on here so around around we go And that's the negative, or that's the positive, I mean. Don't want to mess those up. Well, this is like an orange tape. Well, whatever works, I guess. We can figure it out, I'm sure. Anything but black. That's done. So that's done. I just don't know where I'm gonna put it yet because my length is kind of on the kind of short side at the moment. But what I need to do now is take the PWM and hook that hook those wires up to it. Uh, carefully because everything is on now, but I will disable the load side and Plug the positive and negative in I'm gonna have to set the ladder up and I will get back to you once that's done Alrighty guys, I'm just watching some TV still here. The TV is at 12.6 the um, Other battery is all the way back up charged but I gotta admit that 360 drained it worse than the television. It was going down to almost 12 volt. So I just did a couple quick games on there and called it quits for that. Um, since I'm staying over, I don't wanna totally kill this battery. So, um, but definitely um, I'm gonna have to put the other two panels up on the same rack, wire them in. And cause right now I'm kinda on the edge so once I do that, I should be really set to go. So a good experiment, good good learning thing to stay over and see exactly what you can do. I want to see how much power I get. Um, I think it's four o'clock or so, or just after four and I'm still getting solar power. So I want to see how late I actually get power coming in and go from there. So I'll give you updates as we go. This camera just, uh, got recharged so I'm good to go now all right guys um, I that light is dead um, my TV or the left side battery the blue one um, went into low voltage mode the alarm actually went tripped on the battery um, but 
I'm pretty damn sure I got way more hours out of running the TV than I did previously than just hooked up to the battery. Um, this guy is currently running the TV. I just, uh, all I did was I changed the uh, extension cord from there to there. So easy, easy peasy fix. I'm just watching the local news here. Um, this one has dropped to 12.3. It might kill out soon too. So I'm definitely getting, um, seeing exactly how much, I'll kill this power button too so it shuts that off. Um, it says it's pulling 30 watts. I doubt it. It's pulling more than that. But, um, yeah, so definitely got to put the two other panels up and wire them in because I'm basically right on the edge with a panel each. Um, however, I can run any uh, 12 volt and lights easily, fans, lights, anything like that. But when it comes to TVs, I did move the TV and have everything unplugged. It's just running off of the aerial above me here. Um, so, yeah. So we'll see how long that lasts on there, but definitely gotta put those other two panels in, guys, for sure. Um, what can I say, right? So we'll see what happens on uh, when I stay over here tonight and go from there. I'll give you some updates, okay? We'll talk to you later. Okay, guys, I have my uh, good camera on charge on the power brick. The fan is still blowing on five or on max just to get the um, get some airflow in here other than opening some windows like which I should do. Um, I have a jumble of 12 volt fans that I may hook up to the top of the um, battery box I guess. I have to turn the TV back on because um, I want to see, I just changed the settings on the charge controller. I thought the load cutoff was for the load part of the charge controller on the right, but apparently it's for the entire thing. That's where the mistake came in. So I dropped it down to like 11 volts and now this thing shouldn't trip out because it was stopping bringing solar in, which was stupid. Right now it's sucking all the solar it can get, which is better. This one, I didn't have to worry about. Um, the light is still on over there as well. It's hooked up to the, uh, the blue battery, this side on the left. And the right is running this light, the battery charger and it's currently charging my new camera and the fan and running the fan on the elliptical over there so two three four so i'll keep an eye on this every once in a while but we'll see what happens should plug the toilet back in there you go but uh yeah Maybe it's because I I have quite a ways of wire. That's what I was worried about. Too much too much length from the source. But we'll find out. I think it was just a setting issue. Um, I'll leave this light on. And I can probably shut this one off and figure out where he's gonna go. I can maybe just leave him on top of the pantry or something. I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> it's a mystery, but the TV's on. I think I'm gonna take a break. I still got a bunch of stuff to put away. Um, eventually I'll be able to actually watch the TV. I think the Dyson's done charging. Yep, green light's out. So we'll see what happens here, guys. All right, we'll see you in a bit.